Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those cross watching, welcome to your daily love tarot messages here. Um, these messages are general so please guys just be mindful of that. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach and inquire, I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what, um, what messages they're predicting for you today. So you've got the Ten of Cups here. The world card and the moon card here as well. Okay. Straight away there's some there's a notion of cycles here. Combination with the Ten of Cups and Cycles. Ten of Cups, wait. <laughs> the world you're ready and the moon card let go wow some very powerful um very powerful messages here for you with the ten of cups um you're being asked to wait here you're being asked to be a little bit more patient i'm getting the message that you can't hurry love some of you i feel like you're wanting you're wanting this storybook romance okay whether it's with your current romantic energy or whether you're single and you know you want that ideal um you know that ideal relationship that ideal partnership you want to settle down you want to get married you want to have children it is in the cards for you i mean with the ten of cups and you are coming in alignment uh, with someone here now the reason why some of you are single is because you haven't necessarily met your vibrational match yet the two of you maybe haven't crossed paths or you have but maybe you haven't yet fully realized the potential of your connection so for a lot of you you are being asked to wait and even for those of you that are in a relationship and you feel as though, okay, you're ready to settle down and, you know, you're ready to start a family, you're ready to move in together, you're so ready here for the next stage of your life. I get it, you're ready. Even look, even the universe agrees with you. Um, even the tarot guides here are agreeing with you. However, we need to take a step back here. We need to consider your romantic energy here. Maybe they're not ready here, okay? Maybe they need a little bit longer here. Or maybe the universe here isn't ready for the two of you to fully, you know, um, come together here. So for a lot of you with the Ten of Cups, you need to wait. For some of you as well, I get that. Because the rainbow here is only really visible after a storm, and some of you I feel like maybe you have recently gone through a tumultuous storm. Now I don't actually mean like a physical storm, some of you I feel like have gone through maybe a breakup or a separation or some really difficult times here between you and a romantic energy here. You've got the rainbow here so you're coming out of it or you will be coming out of it here. Um, as some of you might not necessarily see the light at the end of the darkness, but there, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, but there is light. There is light. And once again, you're just being asked to, um, the universe here is asking for you to wait, okay? Everything here unfolds in um, perfect timing. And just because something isn't happening in your timeline, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen at all. Now with the world card here, you're ready. There is something There is something here that awaits you. And I, I'm sensing that it's like a, a new chapter or a new cycle. I did mention cycles and i got that notion right away here with your reading and for a lot of you you're about to you're either coming out of a cycle and entering a new one or for some of you i feel like you're about to embark on a new journey now for for some it's like a, a physical journey or a spiritual journey it's a new relationship it's a it's um it's a partnership here you're ready but we have to question whether you're connecting romantic energy is ready or we have to question whether the universe here is ready for your awesomeness so um, I, I just want to go back to, you know, trust the process and just um, be patient here. For some of you, I feel like there's someone here you're wanting to connect with. Now, you're connecting with this person because you got, you, you've got something to say to them. You've got something to communicate to them. You've been putting it off, guys, because maybe you felt as though you you don't know how to say it or you don't know what you're going to say to this person you know what you want to say but then you know when it comes time to sending them a text message or picking up the uh, phone and calling them you sort of panic you're actually ready whether you know it or not um on a subconscious level you're so ready so even if you don't know what it is you're going to say to them once you're face to face to this person or once you're like um you know connecting with them the words will just sort of pour out of you so you're ready for some of you this this means that you're also ready to draw on closure so maybe communicating with them will give you closure 
or maybe communicating with them might just give you an opportunity to start all over again, like a fresh emotional start, um, to do something to do something's better the second time around here. You're ready. For others of you, whatever it is, if you've had a, um, you know, if, if there's something here you've been wanting to do, as I've mentioned, even if it's like, you know, reaching out or, you know, sending a text, a message to a romantic interest or letting them know that you have feelings uh, for this person, you're ready here. I feel like not only are you ready to say it, but I get that your person is also ready to hear it. Now, guys, you do have the moon card here, okay? And you're being asked to let go. Now, the moon, of course, as we all know, is um, illusions. It's illusions, it's anxieties, it's fears. It's sometimes fears that, you know, exist and reside on a subconscious level. So here you are, you're being asked to let go. Some of you, what's happening is you're allowing for illusions or you're allowing for these fears and anxieties or insecurities to dictate your actions especially when it comes to love and romance here you need to release those fears you need to release those burdens here because if you don't they are going to forever cause a hindrance here um, when it comes to uh, future romantic connections here when it comes to future relationships So let go. Let go of anyone who dulls your shine. Let go of anything that feels like a heavy burden to carry. Let go of any toxicities in your life. Let go of anything that brings you drama. Um, at some point, you do have to just let go here. It may be the hardest thing that you feel you have to do. Um, but I feel like some things or some people or some burdens aren't meant for you and you just have to release them and let them go it's also okay to let go of like to walk out of someone else's life or to let go of someone if you feel like that person isn't meant for you or if you feel like they don't have time for you okay some of you need to let go of an illusion let go of an illusion because essentially the illusion here is only I feel like the illusion of something or someone feels a lot more inviting than the reality of it and you need to let go of that illusion you need to let go of those unrealistic or those you know uh, unre unrealistic or uh, gr very grand expectations here let go strip those away and see what remains okay and that's all i have for you guys thank you for watching and listening i will be catching up with you tomorrow for more daily love tarot messages bye for now